Hey guys, what's up? My name is Code Kana, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Lethal Company, uh, I guess, skin. So this would be a custom Lethal Company skin that you can put into the game. Uh, this will require mods. I want to keep this tutorial somewhat short and simple because I want you guys to be able to make your skins and drop it right into, um, right into the game. And you can do this multiple times over. You can make as many as you want. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the basics. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want a uh, 3D model. I think I actually have, yes, yeah, so this is the one that I used. Here is the game model for the actual uh, scavenger. So this is the player model. You can click this down here and download it. Now once it downloads, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and open up Blender. I think it's preferable that you use Blender. You can also use uh, photo editing images stuff, but it's... 10 times more difficult and it's it's quite unreliable um one thing about 3d uh i don't know texturing is the 2d image does not always look like the uh 3d image i like to delete everything in here because I, I just don't need it now i want to go to import and i want to select fpx i go to downloads and I go to the folder. Now I need to make sure that I extracted it. So make sure you extract the folder and then you go into this. What you're going to, what you're going to want to do is go to the source and select the FBX for the scavenger. You can now see it's in here. You can also do stuff like animate it. If you can check down here, there, there's stuff for posing it, animating it, and whatnot. But right now we're going to focus on just texturing. Now you see it turns purple if I do this, that's because we don't actually have the image. What we can do is we can come in here and we just delete this and here it is. Okay, so here's my texture. Now I can go in here and you guys can see I have multiple um, multiple images. So real quick, I'll just show you guys um, one of the skins that I've already made. If I just attach it here. You can see it renders, it, it looks good, you know. In game, it'll look even better. You'll want to edit this. For this, I'd like to go to texture paint, and you can see I can draw on it. And if I draw down here, you'll see it does the same. So what I like to do is, uh, let's say I want him to have white pants. Sometimes I just go straight into the editor and do it, uh, if I can identify the spots easily. So I can easily identify what's the pants. Uh, this might actually be the arms. Yeah, that's so that's the arms. Um, you can use F to resize your tool. Draw it in. Um, there's actually uh, different ways to do different things. If you don't know how to use a, um, uh, if you don't know how to use Blender, it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to actually pull this off. In which case, I would recommend looking up tutorials if you get lost so once you got the uh, thing you're not actually going to export that you're going to go over here to the image so texture paint image it should have the diffuse color texture png you're going to do a save as and you're going to call that whatever texture you want and this will be this whatever you name it here is what it's going to show up in game so you can name this as red soup and then once you save that it saves to your folder. If I can find my folder. Now I'm doing this on a Mac. You cannot play Lethal Company on a Mac. It's just easier for me to record and edit this all on a Mac. But I'll show you the steps that you need to do is you want to go to Thunderstore. You want to get the app and then once it downloads, you're going to need a few mods. Let's see here. You'll need this mod. You'll need this mod and you'll need this mod for this to work. But what you want to do is you want to go to Browse Data Folder. That's going to open up the folder that you have Lethal Company in. Of course, if you follow a tutorial on how to get mods working, it should automatically show you um, where the files are. If not, you'll have to change, uh, change the game folder, and you can do that going through Steam and whatnot. There's a whole process. Right, I'm here to just show you the basics and how to get um, how to get your skins in there. So if you don't know how to mod, I'll leave a few videos on how to quickly do it. It takes maybe 10 minutes. It doesn't take too long. So what you want to go do is you want to go to Data Folder, go to Profiles, Default, Bepinex, Plugins, 
and you'll want to make a new folder. So your folder is something like this. So the folder that you have the skin in should be named more suits all under case. You'll take these. So let's take let's say unfinished and drop it in here. So this is the folder that you'll want in your directory for uh, plugins. Here's a few examples of what it looks like. Um, you should know if it works or not. And of course, if you need to, my Discord is always open. And you can just go ahead and contact me through this. Um, and just let me know if I can help you out any. Um, but yeah, so th this tutorial isn't on a Windows, and so I, I do apologize for that. But hopefully this teaches you how you can kind of just plop this in. Um, if you have experience with Blender, it goes a lot faster. If not, just try and paint the best you can or look up a quick tutorial. Um, make sure you have mods already installed, because this is something that you need mods for. Um, and yeah, I mean... There's other ways to do it, but this is the personal way that I like to do it. And hopefully this video tutorial was not as complicated as I had made it out to be. Um, yeah, of course, reach out to me if you need help. I do have a sore throat, and I'm a tad bit under the weather. So this video doesn't exactly sound all too upbeat. But hopefully this teaches you guys how to make your own custom skins. Just reach out to me if you need any more resources. And I'll try and leave as much details as I can in the description. Hit me up on Discord or just leave a comment. And I'll try and get back to every single comment that I can. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of comedy gaming videos. Um, I may, I'm currently working on multiple video games myself. I'm a game developer. And yeah. So you guys have a good day. Hopefully this helped.